here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope all of you a great Thursday. Gabe Curtis reporting on this January 12th, brought to you by Valley Insurance. We're now in downtown LeGrand with open enrollment through January 15th. Much of us have seen highs into a mix of 40s and 50s today with that cold spot. 37 in Meacham. Dramatic drive over the past with that warm spot all the way up to 58 in Pendleton. And out the door this evening, those showers are finally moving out of our area. Slight chance though, we see a few left over over the next hour or so up towards the northern blues and will allow us otherwise completely dry conditions region wide tonight as we continue to see a mix of cloudiness holding much of us into the 30s with the exception for that cold spot potentially briefly dropping into the 20s and burns or we're expecting more breaks in that cloud cover and on the lowest end of those winds where only isolated spots out that way could pick up upwards of 30 mile per hour wind gusts different story in Pendleton I'm expecting the most amount of clouds the gustiest winds as at least some places out that way could see upwards of 60 mile per hour wind gusts keeping temperatures the warmest into low 50s out that way that potential is also going to be into those higher elevations of the northern blues and will allow us heading into the day tomorrow much of us will be tapping into the 40s for highs with the exception for that cold spot 38 in meacham and another dramatic drive over the past even warmer i'm calling for in pendleton up to 63. those winds will subside a bit especially the second half of the day but the northern blues and will allow it's still have the potential to pick up upwards of 50 mile per hour wind gusts the first half of the day otherwise much calmer out towards our south where we should stay dry slight chance we could see a few showers move in late day out that way otherwise best chance for some precipitation will remain up towards the north but anything that falls would just be in the form of raindrops you really have to get up towards 6,000 feet to see the potential for a dusting of snow with isolated spots up above that point picking up upwards of two inches heading into the day tomorrow for Legrand, we'll start out into the low 40s at the 8 o'clock hour. Really the best chance to see a little bit of showery activity around, but it will not be much as those southeasterly wind flow will continue to gust those winds up to 50 miles per hour in spots, really limiting that amount of moisture, especially during the day. I think much of us will stay dry, but still can't rule out a few sprinkles around as those highs reach the mid 40s. Those winds will subside a bit, but still remain breezy into the evening as they switch to the southwest. That's our next chance to see a little bit more shower activity activity in the mix holding those temperatures into the upper 30s overnight same trend into Saturday although we have a better chance for at least a few areas mixing in with a little bit of grapple or snow just after daybreak or it may wait until after sunset those highs will top out again into the mid 40s as we get in my 7-day forecast, sun breaks develop into the weekend as above average temperatures continue Sunday does bring a slightly better chance for a little bit more of that wintry mixture if we have enough moisture although the european model goes mainly dry while both the american and german models actually bring more precipitation into sunday than saturday although i don't necessarily agree with that i think i'm going to be somewhere in the middle but my bias does lean towards the european so I don't think we'll see much moisture, but still better chance than Monday and Tuesday where we could luck out and stay completely dry. Although a weak system does bring thickening cloud cover late into Monday and into early Tuesday. So I can't rule out a slight chance for just a few isolated showers around, but no moisture becomes likely until during the day on Wednesday. And that could bring a few inches of snow if models stay on track late Wednesday and into early Thursday as those temperatures cool back down to average the back half of next week. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing the most accurate forecasting you can get here in Eastern Oregon. Thank you to the folks down at Valley Insurance for sponsoring this weathercast and I will be back tomorrow. <music>